Assalamualaikum everyone. Today we are going to cover another important topic of PIC 18F microcontroller and today's topic is status register. So let's see what is a status register. Okay, PIC status register. It is also known as flag register. It is a basically 8-bit register because we know that we are working on PIC 18F452 which is a 8-bit microcontroller. So every internal register present in this microcontroller would be 8-bit. So this status register is also 8-bit register. Okay, this is also known as flag register as I told you. So another name for this status register is flag register. Okay, out of 8 bits, only 5 bits are used. That means 3 bits are still unused and they are not implemented. So 3 bits which are not unimplemented, unimple they will always read as 0. That means 3 bits will be considered always 0 while other 5 bits which are actual implemented bits and which are actual having some meanings, they will change their status. Sometimes they will become 0, sometimes they will become 1. And what are these? These, these are basically certain conditions. That is why these condition, these flags or these 5 bits are known as conditional flags. So, and these five conditional flags changes some their status from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 and they have very uh, variable meanings which are useful for programmer and uh, application of microcontroller okay this diagram is taken from your textbook uh, okay and th this diagram shows the big status register and we see five different uh, flags which have some me some have some meanings right for example n flag ov flag z flag dc flag or c flag while we see starting three most significant bits are un unimplemented that is why across is shown here so that means these three bits are unimplemented okay so what are the meaning of three uh, other five bits from starting from D naught. So D naught bit is basically carry flag. What is a carry flag? We are going to see certain definitions. Uh, digital carry, this is digital carry flag. Z flag, Z flag is basically zero flag. OV flag, OV flag stands for overflow flag. And N flag, N flag stands for negative flag. While D5, D6 and D7 are not implemented and reserved for future use and they are not implemented in pic 18 f 452 Okay, we are going to see these flags, conditional flags in detail. So very first flag that we are noticing is carry flag. So it will be one if there is a carry out from D7 bit after addition or during addition. Otherwise, it will remain zero. What does it mean? Let me explain you. For example, we are adding two 8-bit numbers. Let's say 5, 2 is added with 3, 4 hacks, right? And you know that this is 8-bit information because there are two hexadecimal symbols and we're going to add them, right? So 2 plus 4, it becomes 6, 5 plus 3, 8, right? So there is no carry out to this bit because you know that uh, this hexadecimal has four bits from D0 to D3 while uh, from 0 to 3 bits, right? So three, four bits are included and here from 4 to 7 bits, right? So D4 to D7 bits are implemented here and there is no carry out, right? So there is no carry that is why carry flag would be what carry flag would be zero in this example but what if if we are going to add something other let's take another example for example we're gonna add uh, seven two hacks with let's say uh, nine a right these are again 8-bit information this is also 8-bit information and we are adding them up Rem remember this is hexadecimal right hexadecimal number system so 2 plus a a is basically equal to 10 so 10 plus 2 would become 12 so 12 in hexadecimal it is written as c right similarly 7 plus 9 it is equal to 16 and in uh, 16 is written there is no 16 in hexadecimal so it is we need two different symbols so that would be equal to one zero so you know that in hexadecimal this is equal to eight bits but this one that means there is something uh, more than eight bits so that means this is a carry out right so this one is considered the carry from this result so you know that in this example when we are performing this addition there must be a carry so carry will be the carry flag will become equals to one in this example right so that means we are performing two different uh, operations and it is equal to one 
in one case and other case it was simply equal to zero i hope you have understand it let's consider another uh, feature of carry flag and it is also becoming one whenever there is a taking uh, there is a borrow taken from to d7 bit in subtraction so you know that as there is a concept of carry there is also concept of borrow so if you subtract for example 3 uh, 0 from 2 f right so if you now subtract it f means 15 15 minus 0 would be 15 so 15 will remain 15 in hexadecimal it will be f but you cannot subtract 3 from 2 so you need to take a borrow so borrow in hexadecimal will be equal to what 16 because it is a 16 base number so 16 plus 2 will become 18 18 minus 3 will become equals to what equals to 15 and 15 is written as f right but you know this is a borrow which is taken to this uh, 2 or d7 bit right so this means in this operation there was a borrow so c flag will become equals to 1 if there is a subtraction operation and you do not need it c flag will remain equals to 0 so this is the important concept or this is the important condition which is given by uh, carry flag of status register that is why carry flag or status register uh, flag is very important right okay next flag that we are going to see it is dc or digital carry digital carry is almost having same kind of function as we discussed in carry flag but where it comes uh, there is some uh, differences as well so let's see what is the difference this flag will become equals to one if there is a carry from d3 to d4 right uh, in addition otherwise it becomes zero so this means the difference between this digital carry flag and the carry flag is from this Thing, right so basically uh, uh, last time we were talking about d3 and d uh, uh, last time we were talking about d7 bit and this time we are considering d3 bit so for example if we add uh, 2 4 to 2 2 hacks right so if we add this is a hexadecimal number right so 4 2 4 plus 2 become equals to what 6 hacks right 2 plus 2 become equals to 4 hacks right you know that this is first hexadecimal symbol so every hexadecimal symbol have how many bits 4 bits so if you consider 4 will be equal to in binary that will be equal to what 0 1 double 0 right you know that and 2 will be equal to what 0 0 1 0 I'm just taking the most uh, least significant side. So if you're going to add them up, it will become 0, 1, 1, 0, which is equal to what? This 6. You know that there is no carry coming out from this portion, from this D3. Uh, that is why there is no carry out from this 6 to this uh, most significant portion. So that is why there is no digital carry. So digital carry will remain or DC flag will remain equals to 0. But what if? What if we do two four hacks uh, with B or let's say, uh, let me raise it because that will be different case. So uh, if we consider, let's say C and there is a four, right? So four plus C, C is equal to 12, 12 plus four, it means 16. And you cannot write any one digit. You need to write one zero. So zero will be here and one will be carry here. That means this time there is a carry from this symbol to this next symbol, right? Which means we have a carry from D3 to D4. That is why digital carry would be equal to uh, what equal to one because there is a carry from d3 bit to d4 bit i hope this point is clear and this uh, carry concept is also extended to borrow if we talk about subtraction so whenever there is a subtraction and there is a borrow taken from d4 bit to d3 bit uh, it will become equals to one what flag dc flag or digital carry flag otherwise digital carry will remain zero right i hope you can perform the subtraction example yourself if you if you need any help you can uh, post the comment section okay next flag that we're gonna see in this lecture is zero flag and it is very simple to understand whenever you have a last arithmetic result or logical operation and you have result equal to zero then this flag will become equal to zero for example we 
subtract 2 2 hacks from 2 2 hacks right so what will be our result 0 0 hacks that means we have a complete 0 result so 0 flag will become equals to 1 otherwise 0 flag will remain 0 in any other case I hope this concept is very easy and to understand Additional flag that we are going to discuss in this lecture are basically OV flag and N, N flag. So OV flag means uh, overflow flag as its name suggests it is indicates some kind of overflow and what kind of overflow let's have let's be let's say we have two 8 bits number one 8 bit number and another 8 bit number and we perform certain operation among them for example addition subtraction or any kind of information and there is a result right now this result is a signed operation or signed number and that number cannot be expressed in terms of simple 8 bits that means we can we need more than 8 bits to express this number that means this register which is 8 bit register is not enough to express this number or the sign number is too large so in that case in the in such scenario ov flag will become equals to one so this is kind of overflow overflow indication and that is why this ov flag is so important whenever one is trying to process sign numbers the next thing is also related with the sign numbers or you can say the sign of the last result for example if we perform any arithmetic or logical operation and if we are uh, and our result is negative then this n flag becomes equals to one and similarly if our last result is e, uh, is positive then this will remain equal to zero so n flag is again indicated or uh, related with the result of uh, the sign of result that means if the result will be positive and flag will remain zero if uh, result is negative then and flag flag will become equals to one i hope this point is clear okay that's it from this lecture i hope today you have learned an important uh, status register uh, of pic 18 f which is uh, very integral part of programming so if you have any comment please post in comment section thank you so much for listening